While April has turned out to be a red month for Bitcoin, many altcoins exploded, including many projects that made triple digit gains. One of those projects we nailed is the hodlers of this coin saw everything green for the whole month. Our April picks of the month were some of our best yet. Can we top it in May is the only question. Find out what my top five gems are for May in 2021. Let's get it. BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap will get you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at BitSwapDex.com. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money in crypto, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. In today's video, we're going to be diving deep to find the best five crypto gems for May of 2021, what will surely be an explosive month for Bitcoin and altcoins. Now, as always, for our monthly pick videos, we'll be assisted by Token Metrics, our coin research site of choice. Token Metrics uses quant AI and machine learning in order to find the best coins for you to add to your portfolio. If you want to give Token Metrics a try, make sure to head on over to bitboycrypto.com slash deals. Scroll down to the Token Metrics section. Here, you can get a seven-day trial for less than five bucks, which you got to lose. Make sure to grab that deal today. And also, before we get into May's picks, we got to go over our picks for April to see how we did. Bitcoin, of course, struggled this month, seeing its first red month in seven months. But many altcoins exploded, including four out of our five picks. The only coin that we picked that did not see a gain in either Bitcoin value or USD value was Theta. For the month, Theta actually saw an 8.65% loss in USD value and a 3% loss against Bitcoin. It's up 9,700% on the last year, but it couldn't keep the good vibes going in April. But fear not, because the next four coins more than made up for it. Many people have been asking me whether or not I'm still bullish on synthetics. SNX has had a rough go of it for the past couple months compared to its previous explosive growth. I'm still bullish on SNX, but honestly, Binance tokenizing stocks on its platform is a problem for synthetics, who is basically doing the same thing without a platform as large as Binance. However, Synthetix still did very well, seeing a 4.55% increase in USD value and an 11% increase versus BTC. Pretty good month overall for SNX. Next, we have Elrond. Now, I was expecting Eagle to have a good month. Guess what? They delivered. In April, Elrond saw a 30% increase in USD value and a 38% gain against Bitcoin. Look for more big things from Elrond this month. Next, we have the coin that launched a Cupid costume, <laughs> Ethereum. Had quite the resurgence in April, making new all-time highs, and I look for that to continue as well in the short term. In April, Ethereum saw a 51% increase in its USD price. Against Bitcoin, Ethereum made up ground as it saw a 61% increase in Bitcoin value, and that's what it's all about. But even that wasn't enough to take the top spot for April picks as one coin saw a doubling in price, Solana. Solana had one of the best months in all of crypto. It made triple digit gains in USD value and in BTC value, seeing a 122% spike against the dollar and a whopping 136% gain against Bitcoin. Now, if you had followed our April picks, which aren't financial advice, of course, you would be seeing green all over your portfolio. Okay, so we had over 200% total gains for the month. But what about May? I think for this month, I've got some big certified winners. Coming in at number five, I have FTX token. It's a little tricky because the ticker is actually FTT. So how good is FTX? Well, Binance is copying them. FTX was the first exchange to create tokenized derivative versions of stocks, including Tesla and Coinbase. Binance made news when they began doing that last month as well. But FTX's exchange did it first. If you're unfamiliar with FTX's exchange, you won't be unfamiliar for long. FTX actually signed a deal with the NBA's Miami Heat to get the naming rights for their arena. So every time a game or an event is held at the Miami Arena, everyone will be exposed to FTX. The FTX chart is also looking like it's ready for its next leg up. I believe May will end up with a much more expensive FTX token as it could exceed $1 per token in the near future. 
At number four, I have Chainlink. Link had a resurgence in April, but seems to be coiling up for another major move. Chainlink, of course, is the number one overall blockchain Oracle project and has fared incredible over the last few years. But if you look at the overall pattern of Link on the charts, you'll see it generally has large spikes, crashes, accumulation, and then it does it all again. Now, as the bull market continues to get more bullish this year, these accumulation stages are becoming smaller and smaller. This leads to a parabolic crescendo at the end of this market cycle that will most likely come in quarter four of this year, especially for altcoins. To me, Link seems to be at the point where it's ready to explode again. It's fallen outside of the top 10, coming in at number 12 right now. It's been as high as the top five before, and I believe it has the strength to get there again very soon. May could be the month where it starts to climb once again towards those higher rankings. In my opinion, I will be shocked if we do not see a $50 link by the end of this month. Coming at number three, I have Luna. This is the second time in three months that Terra is on our monthly coins list. And the last time we included them, they saw a triple digit percentage gain, making it one of the most profitable coins we had ever covered in our monthly picks. The question is, how much more upside does Terra have? Well, it actually managed to go all the way up to the top 12 before falling down to currently its position at number 25. It's held tough in the top 30, but it's a far cry from where it was at its peak. One of the things though that people underestimate with Luna is its tokenomics. Luna has some very interesting stuff happening in terms of burning its supply. Every time the stable coin of the Luna blockchain is minted, Luna itself gets burned. The stable coin UST is a driver of that burning mechanism. When more Luna is burned, the more valuable the remaining Luna is. These functions have led to a sustainable rally for Terra Luna, and I think that continues this month. In number two, I have Polkadot, and of course a side mention of Kusama. You have to understand when Polkadot pumps, Kusama usually does too, so they move in tandem. But more on Dot. I believe May is going to show the return of Polkadot. I actually bought $800,000 worth of DOT this month. So let's get more into why. Well, first and foremost, we recently had a double bottom for Polkadot on the charts. You see the beautiful bounce off the $30 level here. While it's easy to see the DOT could return to $40 or even $45, I believe this is the month DOT shakes the $45 resistance and surges well above $50. A breakout is upon us for Polkadot, and I believe it may happen in May. It was supposed to be a pun. When it comes to DOT, it's all about the ecosystem. Now, recently, a huge chunk of a $16 million investment was allocated to help develop Cosmos and Polkadot projects. As the projects on the networks grow, there's no doubt the network effects will strengthen, similar to what we have seen with Ethereum. For a while, DOT was hot, but more recently, it hasn't seen nearly the same type of love from investors, but I think that changes in May and you want to be part of it. Not financial advice, of course, but I have put my money where my mouth is and I'm counting on a huge move. Coming in at number one, I can tell you, TJ is going to be thrilled. What does your shirt say, TJ? It says uh, this t-shirt is more decentralized than Ripple. I have XRP. I do want to give this pick a disclaimer though. It is by far my riskiest pick of the month there's a chance this backfires and XRP slumps back below a dollar. If the SEC were to come out on top with their lawsuit against Ripple Labs, this coin could get the death penalty, meaning it could go to zero. But I'm a firm believer now that, that won't happen. I've done a total 180 on my opinion on the lawsuit, and this is because we've received tons of new information that indicates Ripple Labs is the odds-on favorite right now to win the case. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this entire case could be dismissed this month. And this will open the absolute floodgates for XRP to finally hit all the crazy numbers its investors in the XRP army have been dying for. I think that it's extremely likely that sometime over the 30-day period following a win in the SEC case, XRP would be well on its way toward new all-time highs close to $4. XRP pumped and has now been simmering but it looks like it's about to bust through resistance and top $2. I bought over $100,000 worth of XRP two weeks ago, and I think it's about to pay off big time. But let me know what you think about XRP and our picks for the month. Drop those down below. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.